presently, there is uh, some discussion of whether a short chain or a shorter chain form of mm -hmm. omega-3s called alpha-linolenic acid or ALA uh, also is good for your health. Uh, and uh, yes, all polyon sets are good for your health, if not in excess, but all the positive functions we hitherto have found related to omega-3s all relates to EPA and DHA. We have not found any special effect of ALA. And uh, the question is therefore, can ALA, if you take it uh, as an oil, rapeseed oil or whatever, mm -hmm. with a high ALA content, be just as good as fish oil for these health issues? And the question, it's, it's a complicated issue, but the question to cut it down is, no, it isn't. Because we can, as humans, convert ALA to EPA and DHA, DHA but the conversion, uh, conversion rate is very low, very low. Below 1% of what you eat of it, below 0.5% of what you eat of it, is converted further up to these beneficial long chain. So if you should add, and, and this mm -hmm. I think you should to your diet by eating uh, you, these omega-3s, you have to take them as EPA and DHA as, and not as uh, ALA. Quite recently, there was a big review in a fam uh, very known American uh, cardiology journal, and the conclusion was that EPA and DHA, but not ALA has beneficial influence on coronary health. Okay, and this is specifically for coronary health? It's specifically for coronary. To, if we go into mental disorders, skin disorders, and all that, there are no data whatsoever, whatsoever, there are no positive data on ALA supplementation, whereas there are mm -hmm. lots of positive studies. Not that everything is proved in detail. We have a lot of research right. to do in, in years to come. Okay. Fortunately, fortunately. Fortunately. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Diver. Thank you.